Hello there. This is the first video of the video series where we discuss about DMPs and a walkthrough of Oracle BlueKey DMP. We will take you through from the basic concepts how DMP works to how to use Oracle BlueKey DMP, which is one of the largest DMPs available in the market right now. This is the first video of the series and I will put the link for the playlist in the description below in case you want to watch all the videos. If you look at the screen, this is the UI or dashboard of of Oracle Blue Kai. So if you have access to this DMP when you log in this is what you see. If you see there are multiple options and tabs from new audience manage report analyze apps and on the left hand side you see there is a navigation panel and a taxonomy housed in the DMP. A DMP is a very interesting and amazing tool which helps to take your digital marketing to a next level. Just to give you an idea what kind of data is available how granular data is available in DMP I'll quickly show you here let's say I quickly expand the in market segment and autos cars and trucks do you know using DMP you can even track people who are in market or looking for a particular brand of car and a particular model for example here if you see Audi A3 you can see how many people are looking to buy Audi A3 in a specific region and in a specific time frame similarly you can see how many people are watching a particular show on netflix and you can even target them using your ads for example these are the people who are looking for 13 reasons why on netflix you can know how many people in certain geography and certain time frame are watching this show and you can target them with your ad campaigns now we will come back and see all the data available here and what all we can do with DMP but before that this is an introduction video so in this video I'll quickly give you an idea about what a DMP is if you already know feel free to skip to the second video I want to quickly take you through what is a DMP what kind of data does it store what does it do who uses a DMP and why types of DMP types of data in DMP and how does DMP fit in advertising ecosystem and then we will go through the Oracle blue Kai UI and I will show you how to do different kind of audience collection data segmentation processing and activation DMP is short for data management platform now if you see some of the examples of DMP would be Oracle Blue Kai or Lotomy these are one of the biggest DMPs available in the market now just to give you a background Blue Kai was a separate company but they were the masters in this field so Oracle few years ago acquired Blue Kai so that's why it's called Oracle Blue Kai now now we know that on an average a single user uses multiple devices to connect to the internet via their phone, via their laptop, desktop or tablets. In this kind of scenario where the devices is even more than the population of a country, it becomes very important to understand what kind of audiences you should target. Like I said before, I live in UAE. It's a small country with 10 million population. But as per the stats, there are 55 million devices connected to the internet. In this kind of scenario where you have to do a digital marketing campaign which is result driven, you need to understand which users you should target your campaign to. That's where products like DMP help you to understand what kind of audience you should go after and how you should target them. Now that's a lot about data. But what kind of data does a DMP actually store? Now you have to remember, DMP stores just three types of data. One is cookie IDs, it can be for a mobile device or a desktop or it contains AD IDs which is short for Android ID which is used in all the Android devices and is unique for each device or if it's an Apple device then we use IDFA or identifier for Apple. So these are the three types of device IDs a DMP stores. That's all. All these are device IDs. That being said, Whenever we say a user, the reach, number of users in DMP, it actually refers to the devices, not an individual. Now that we know that what kind of data a DMP hosts, it's important to understand that what a DMP does with this data. There are three functions that a DMP does with the data. One, it collects the data. The second thing is it helps to organize data. Let's say we have two data sets. One is people interested to buy Audi and one is people who are interested to buy Mercedes. Now we can club this data together. The third function is it helps 
to activate the data which means if you have certain data in your DMP you can activate it and you can create a campaign targeting only these audiences which is called data activation so please remember a DMP helps to collect the data organize the data and activate the data now that we know that what kind of data is there what all a DMP does with this data it's important to understand who uses a DMP now in digital marketing both advertisers and publishers can use a DMP it has used cases for both let's say for example advertisers they use DMP to have granular targeting let's say an advertiser wants to create a campaign targeting only people who are looking to buy an Audi or a Mercedes car to achieve this kind of granular targeting advertisers use DMP similarly if an advertiser has first party data about people visiting their website and they want to find similar people they can use a DMP to create lookalike audiences it's just to find more people like a particular data set in our case visitors of our website the third use case for advertisers can be user explorer reports now for example there is an advertiser and there are 10,000 people who visit his website now to understand the persona of these users let's say all the 10,000 people who came to my website I want to know whether they are men or women or even granular details what is their average monthly income or what kind of cars are they interested in even what kind of Netflix shows do they watch all these reports which help you understand the persona of a particular data set are called user explorer reports it is very important for new advertisers or new companies to understand the persona of the users who are interacting with their brands. On the other hand, publishers can use DMPs to show personalized content on their website. Let's say I own an e-commerce website. Now, I do not want to show the same banner or offer on my homepage to all the users. However, I set up a rule. If a person is a female, who visiting my website I want to show them products which are relevant to female audiences and the same thing with male audiences it's a very generic example but using DMP the publishers can achieve this they can use the data of DMP to dynamically change the content of the website based on the user who is visiting the website and the second use case for publishers let us say I'm a news channel and I have different sections on my channel. One of the sections is about investment news and business news. Now there is a Forex company who want to buy data about all the people who visit business websites because these audiences are relevant for Forex companies to target. Now I can use DMP to collect this data and sell it to the advertisers using DMP without disclosing any PII about my audiences. So that will be how publishers can use DMP to collect this data and sell this data. Like advertisers, publishers can also use data to do user explorer reports to understand the persona of the audiences who is visiting their website. Guys, there is honestly more use cases which will be clear to you when we actually see how to use Oracle Blue Kai. But for now, this is more than enough to give you an idea that who uses a DMP and how. Now that we know that what DMP is, we know what kind of data is there, we know what does a DMP do with this data, and we also know how advertisers and publishers use this data, it's important to understand what kind of data is available in DMP. There is three types of data injected in a DMP. First party data, second party data, and third party data. Now you have to understand all of this data is again device IDs like IDFA, ADID or cookies but it's classified into first party, second party and third party based on how this data is injected in a DMP. I have tried to create this slide with the examples to make it clear. Now the biggest chunk of data available in DMP comes from third party data. Now DMP in our case well, Oracle Blue Kai has partnership with thousands and thousands of websites and data owners where Oracle has a direct deal with them and buys data from them and injects in their DMP. Now after this data from third parties is injected in DMP, 
it's available to all the DMP users where they can use this to target this data. Some of the data partners of Oracle Blue Sky is Visa, Netflix, Booking.com and thousands and thousands of other companies. To give you an example of how this data can be helpful for advertisers, now let's say Visa provides all the information to DMP. For example, if I use a Visa debit or credit card, to usually purchase food online. Now Visa passes my device ID to Oracle Blue Kai that this person uses his Visa card to usually buy food online. Now a food delivery company can target me with their app install campaigns anticipating that I might install their app and use it to order food online. Similarly, if I go to booking.com and I book a ticket to Amsterdam. Booking.com will pass my device ID to DMP and this information can be very helpful for hotels and car rental companies in Amsterdam. They will start targeting me because they know I'm flying to Amsterdam. Now this is just to give you an idea that how Oracle Blue Kai has partnered with a lot of companies to collect the data and provide it for advertisers to target them. As mentioned, this is the largest chunk of data available in DMP and is termed as third party data. The second party data is when publishers who use DMPs to collect the data and sell it through DMP. Now I as an advertiser can reach out to Gulf Business and tell them, can you sell me the data of all the users who visit a particular section on your website. Now Oracle as a company does not have any tie ups with Gulf Business or they cannot sell this data to anyone except Gulf Business wishes to sell. So me as an advertiser, if I reach out to Gulf Business and ask them that I want to buy your data we can complete this transaction through Oracle Blue Kai DMP and this model of data selling and buying is called second party data pool. This one is probably the least used data injection method in a DMP. The third type is first party data. So if I subscribe to Oracle Blue Kai as a DMP, let us say I am a hotel. So I will have a lot of first party data about people who visit my website and people who use my app to book rooms and I will also have information in my CRM about people who directly walked into a hotel and provided their username, email address. So what I as an advertiser can do, I can host all of this data in Oracle Blue Kai. I can inject it there. I will go to Oracle Blue Kai, generate pixels, put it on my website and app so that any visitor who visits my website and app, the cookie IDs and the device IDs are collected in Oracle Blue Kai. And as well, if I have a CRM or the data I have is in Excel sheets, I can directly inject in DMP as well to store it at one place. Now that you have an idea about the first party, second party and third party data injection in DMP, just to give you an idea, now I can do different kind of processing with my first party data, second party data and third party data, merge them together or do user explorer reports using this DMP. So overall, this is how DMP fits in an advertising ecosystem. Let's say I am advertiser A. So if you look at the left hand side in my DMP, there is first party data available, which I injected from a CRM or an Excel file. I have also placed the DMP tags on my website and app. Then there is second party data available in the DMP marketplace as well, where I have an option if I want to buy and the third party data, which is automatically collected by Oracle with partnership with all the data providers, they all are available in my DMP. Now I can use this DMP to organize this data, merge them together and a lot of other functions which we will discuss in the next videos. And once I have all this data on the right hand side, I can push a particular data segment in any of these DSPs or SSPs and I can create a campaign targeting only these audiences. For example, I want to target all the people who visited my website as well as people who are looking for hotels in UAE. I can merge this first party and third party data segment in DMP, push it to my DB360 or any of these DSPs and while creating a campaign, I can target that campaign only to this audience segment. In this way, I can merge together data from different sources and have a very granular and targeted campaign to reduce the ad spend and the spillover and have a very targeted campaign with better ROI. Guys, that's all about the introduction of a DMP. In the next video, we will discuss about 
how to perform different tasks in Oracle Blue Sky UI. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It is free and you can always change your mind. I will see you in the next one.